CLS 500 is actually leaking antifreeze um, as you can see um, but it was on the driver's side fender it was coming out so um, you're gonna check it out why is it leaking so it's coming out on this side um, we're gonna check it out and um, let's, let's do this video guys I need to get the hood shocks too man those things can fall in my head so there he comes down gotta be careful with that all right so let me get something to hold this and um we'll continue all right so first thing of course you want to remove these tabs this tab right here mine is kind of already loose take it out put it to the side and then we're gonna want to if you guys can see it's kind of like you can see that it's leaking in there you got no flash right on okay anyways then you want to remove this pull that to the side of course you want to get those trash out of the way because we're actually going to try to remove these plastic tip um uh, these plastic tabs here here we go see that i just twist it I turned it came on same for this one <clears throat> oh that's really in there okay and then we're gonna try to get this plastic cover off to see what's really leaking in there all right guys hold on all right so once you remove the tabs plastic tabs which are these right here and then you want to go ahead and remove this this is either um 13 millimeter socket, or you can use this wrench that I'm using right now. They're not really tight, but it looks like I might need a special tool to pull it out. The actual, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need that. Right, let me see, let me just remove all of them and um, just hope I don't need that tool. I don't have that tool. Let's see if we can do it ourselves. Yeah, it's gonna need it. Oh, actually came out. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Father. Well, I guess you just pull it, guys, and it comes right up. No special tool needed. All right, guys, let me take this one. Let me get my two ends. All right, so once you remove the windshield wipe um, wipers, um, I pulled mine. Um, you guys saw, and then you want to unplug this, pull this out. Careful, because I broke mine right here, the little tab. Put it to the side. And then there's some plastic clips right here. So if you ever, also if you ever in the future, this is the big piece that you want to change if it's like cracked like mine. I haven't bought mine yet, but I want to see why is it leaking. This is called a Qual, Qual, C-O-W-L. I'm, I'm, I'm most likely spelling it wrong, I'm saying it wrong. Sorry guys. But uh, I know it's a C-O-W-L to replace this hole. If you, if you guys don't like this, you know, I will change mine, but not now. So back to this. These are plastic tips, uh, Phillips, and then you wanna, of course, pull it. The limb is gonna pop. Uh, you know what? We don't want it to go anywhere. So, I'm gonna pull this out. Let me put it out, hold on. All right, so I get it out. You're gonna need one of these tools to pull it out. Cause it was really in there. It's a plastic tab. So far I know there's two I haven't seen the other ones. One there and one over here. I lost that one. I gotta go look for it. And then, of course, make sure nothing else is grabbing it. Looks like the part is actually coming out. This is the actual rubber that's holding that. Again, I need both of my hands so I can pull this so I can show you guys. Uh, let's try to remove this. There you go. I'm pulling it. Try not to rip it. 
Let's switch hands. There you go. Yeah, you gotta take these off. See? Take that, put it to the side. Let's remove the other one. Let's check if there's any other tabs around here. Nope, I don't see any tabs. Got it out. Sucker's really in there. All right. Well, that's true. There we go. It's coming out. Hopefully, I don't break anything. Hmm. Let's start with these lines right here. It's gonna be a weight. Oh, I'm trying to see inside over there. Why it's leaking? Antifreeze, which I know the. Core corral. It's in here. Oh, of course. Has another one here. Okay, guys. So remove this one. Hold on. All right. I removed it already. So, see these little things, plastic. They will break. And then, be careful when you get it out because this comes from the inside in here. So you guys can see. It's the inside there, okay. So we're gonna remove it slowly so it looks like it has tabs over there. You can see it. See it. it grabs it. So let's remove it slowly. Sorry. I think we might be able to see now. I think so. No. Looks like we still gotta remove that cover back there. Alright, so that means we have to remove this whole thing. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to get a new one. Looks terrible. Out of the way, see that I pushed it down. Oh, that's so bad. There you go. Okay. Oh. I know there's a lot of moving, but I want, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I know I get some comments out there saying, Hey man, you're moving too much. But I'm actually doing filming and trying to show you guys at the same time. And I just gotta pull this. I don't wanna break it. Cause I can still use it. Oh, it looks like, yeah, there's a vacuum line here. So let's remove this vacuum line. Hold on, guys. Okay, it's not a vacuum, okay, guys? It's actually where I think the the water, the dirt goes in from the rain. It's not a vacuum line. Sorry. So now I think I will be able to pull this piece out. Oh, come on, baby. It's a grab. Oh, it is grab. You see that? There's a plastic tab right there. Right in there. All right, let's get that out. All right, I removed it. That really hurt it. I actually got my thumb. Because there's no way I could reach in there. What you was holding here, the tab. The plastic fill-up. Oh man, it's my, my thumb is getting swollen now. Swollen. But this is the actual piece. Uh, coal. Coal. The cold in. So I'm out to get a new one. Mine is all broken. And um, you're going to see. Oh man, that hurt. Alright, so let's see why is it leaking. 
let me actually try to get a flashlight and uh so i know the heater core should be in here see that it's a plastic thing uh, come on baby i want to see what's going on in there show me why you're leaking there you go show daddy here he comes here he comes hold on guys okay and there it is so it is my heater core valve that is leaking there you go there you go guys so I have to water that part well it's really old um, it's like everywhere at the yeah, it cracked that's what it is that's what it cracked the heater core valve control valve there it is that's why it's leaking so now I gotta take it off, order it, order it, and um, try to get OEM guys or from the Mercedes dealer. I recommend that. You do not want to put something cheap and then later on, you know, you're gonna regret. You can put the original one. Original is always better, especially on these cars. And believe me, the price is not much of a difference from an aftermarket one, maybe ten. $20 difference from buying the original ones some parts not all of them are right guys so there you go so now we find the leak of the car of where it was and um, let me see what else I'm trying to get the cover off and then get the heater control valve out so uh, I won't be able to drive this car for a couple days maybe a week or two and um, so let's see let me get this cover off guys all right, so we're gonna take it off. I'm gonna remove this. It's gonna be tough, yeah. And then, as you can see at the back, we're gonna pull that clip, and then there's one right here in the front, which is in here. That clip right there, we remove that, pull it up, pull it out, and then I think it might have another one at the bottom too. So we're gonna go for it. All right, guys, well done. All right, guys. So you're gonna need either you can do your own hanger, cut a hanger, do like a loop, cut it is really really tight in there to actually um to get to this one right here. Pull that clip out, that clip down there, and there's I know there's one underneath after this clamp. There's another one. There's two, one here and one underneath there way down there um, if I'm not mistaken let me see so let me go ahead and remove this clamp this clip right here and this clip here and see what happens all right so let's try to remove the clamp first but now it's pretty hard guys so I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove this that clips better oh, I can't see Okay. Oh, is that really hard? Is it really in there? Alright, so I noticed uh, there's this big rubber plea. It's actually connected to the heater control valve. So the reason why I'm trying to remove it, see all that water antifreeze down there, that this thing is already old and cracked. So I'm trying to get that clip. So once I pull that, then I should be able to remove that hose connected and then the one behind it. Alright, let's actually let's see if I can do it filming that. It's pretty hard to get these clips up. Oh, there it goes. I'm sure I get it. So I got that one out. All the way out. Now I'm just trying to remove the holes. This connects. Connect. There we go. Wow, oh, it's really in there. Really in there, guys. So it's 
right here. You can see my finger right here. I'm trying to remove that piece. Hold on. All right, so I removed the cover. I didn't want to do that, but um, the one because it's for the intake. And make sure you cover that. You don't want no dirt or anything. So then it was it was easier. You just just pulled it out. So now hopefully I have access to remove that clamp by pulling that up or just playing with it, and um, I get that clip out. So maybe I should. Pull it this one too. Maybe by pulling it, should remove from the firewall back there. <sighs> All right, let me see. Keep this going, guys. All right, so I was trying to pull it so I can get to the clamp, and mine broke, which is okay. It says we're gonna change it to a new one. All we have to do is remove the clamp, remove the plastic tip and replace yeah, at the end so the hardest one is actually behind here um, there's another clip I can't even see it from here I try climbing top of the car um, I can't really see it and try to show you guys but there is a, another clip down there uh, with the firewall that goes inside uh, we'll do my best and remove it um, I wish I could show you I'm trying to get in there for you guys to see I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't, I can't even see myself. And um, let's go ahead and remove this. We're almost done, guys. All right, guys. So I found the clip. And it's right... Oh, damn. Let's see if, I can, if I, you guys can see it. Look the holes. Right in there. Oh, you guys won't be able to see it. Well, you can see it's right behind this thing right here. Let me hold it. Uh, right behind here. You'll need a flashlight and it's way underneath. And believe me, you need like a really good hook to pull that um, clip out. Why, why, why would they put something in there, Germans? Jeez. All right, let me go ahead and try to take it out. Oh my God. All right, guys, this was a pain in the butt. Um, I had to get the, one of these vice grip and, uh, and my hook and literally pulled it up because that clip would not come. It's actually on the side. And look, it finally came out loose. Now I gotta find a way to get it out. And I'm um, gonna have to order the part. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. There you go. See, this is the one we needed, the one at the bottom. That's the one we need to get. So, since the problem was leaking, and that's what was coming out of the side of the, you know, fan, fender, driver's side. And um, we did it. And uh, I gotta order the new part. Clean this mess up right here. Of course, I'm not gonna drive the car for a while. Oh, look, the clip is already clip is attached to it. Oh, I don't want to use it. Plus, I gotta get the other one. Oh, come on, baby. No, 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 no. All right, let me, let me get it out. There it is. See? That's funny. It even comes with it. Hold on. Hold on to it. There you go. That's a sucker would not let me get out. Man, that was a pain in the butt. And I know I, the other one fell in there. There it is on the side, on the wall. Right there. Let me get it. You see, I got it. No worries. So, this is the one we need. I'm gonna order it right now online. It'll be a couple of days to get it. And um, so that's how you remove the uh, heater control valve on the CLS 500, guys. And, um, I will post the next video how to install it and um, thanks for watching and again and and uh, thank you for the new subscribers and you know uh, the channel is growing and thank you you know hit me up with the comments hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel 
if you have any questions, you know, hit me up. Believe me, I do respond to all my emails. Uh, any comments you guys want to, you know, I try to help this guy out online too for the uh, push start, but this is for a different Nissan. Um, and I kind of find a part for him. Hopefully he got it. And um, happy holidays. You know, Christmas is around the corner. And uh, again, to all those folks out there that got their house burned and everything. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. That's terrible for, you know, what they went through. And um, thanks again, guys. And uh, God bless you all. And um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. And thank you all. God bless you all.